Hello my materialistic minions, it's me Bo Shavasu. I am coming to you today with the ability, or so it seems, to check your eyesight at home. To actually get a prescription, quote unquote, that you can plug into, let's say for example, I buy direct, which is where I got these glasses from for literally $9. That's including the, the, the lenses, the coating, the frames, everything. And I did so by typing in the exact prescription that I got at Costco for 70 bucks that a doctor actually went through the whole thing where, I, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. And yet it was almost, almost exactly what I got from IQ. I, I, I am, I'm incredulous because let's be honest, um, if you're an optometrist, you go to school for many, many years. There's a reason why you charge so much for appointments and it's not just like this, this McDoctors, so to speak. And so I'm gonna show you today my perspective. I'm not a, an optometrist or anything and if you have anything strange, like maybe, I don't know, a, a, a astigmatism or something like that, it's worth the money to spend 70, 80, 90, maybe a hundred bucks and go and actually get your prescription from a doctor. Perhaps even do that before this and then maybe just use this and compare those two numbers as you go along and see if the if, if your eyesight decreases to see if in fact you need to tweak something and uh, and then you can get glasses for absolutely dirt cheap online so enough of that you actually probably want to see how this works now first of all the main three apps that you will need now I'm using an iPhone here but the three apps are vision check insight and PD check. Uh, now, really, the only thing that you're probably gonna need to know in order to get a prescription is the first app right there, Vision Check. And if we were to open this up, you will see that there are three different devices that correspond with each of those apps. Uh, the first one, the uh, Vision Check app, is this little guy right here. It's a, uh, well, I actually dropped something. This thing is so tiny, you could put this in your pocket and take it on a mission trip or something and uh, be able to actually, for the most part, gauge people's prescription, what they need overseas or in developing countries. And that's what makes me excited about this because I do a lot of mission work all over the world. I love God, I love people, and I just love to better people's lives. And one of the ways to do that is to actually give them the ability to see. Am I right? So using this little device right here, and basically what it does is you just open up Vision Check, pair device, and I've already turned this on just so you guys don't have to, so I'm not wasting your time. And the device shows up right there, it's the E75, click that, your device is connected. Excellent, remove the cover and place your Vision Check here. All right, and it does have to be perfectly aligned or it will look kind of funny. Now there is a little sticky thing on there and I can kind of feel it adhering to uh, my iPhone. Um, but just for security, let's go ahead and also put this this uh, rubber band looking type thing on here, okay? Let's start your first measurement. Hold the device at reading distance in front of your right eye while keeping both eyes open. Once you identify the red and green lines, slowly move the device closer to your face until it touches your right eye. Keep your non-testing eye open and focused on an object in a distance. So what you're going to be doing is using these touch sensors on top is going and, and adjusting it so that the lines go back and forth. There are two different colored lines and you want to pair them up and it sends you these lines in different, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically you just move it back and forth until they overlap or they may, might go a little further. And then once they're there, uh, you just click continue and then ultimately it actually spits out a prescription that is not once again a prescription but it looks like it's all you need to plug into an online platform now the next two apps insight and pd check really don't do too much uh, um the, the insight one is this giant monstrosity that looks something like uh, vr goggles and you uh, put your phone in there and it's uh, fairly intuitive. 
Uh, this is going to give you that number like, hey, your eyesight is 2020, or your eyesight, in my case, is 2025. And that, that's what this device right here is going to give you. You don't necessarily need that number in order to get glasses, which is why I recommend earlier, uh, all you need is this little vision check device right here. But if you're curious where you sit, are you truly 2020 or not, then that's where this one comes in. Now, the very first thing that you need to do is measure your PD, your pupillary distance. That is the how many millimeters there are between your two um, eyeballs, your, your, um, your pupils. And so to get that distance, really all you need to do is have someone hold up a ruler and count how many millimeters there are. So in my case, it's 58. So I dial in 58 to the top of this and then that adjusts the lenses in this so that it actually matches where my eyes are. So you really don't need this last and final app, which is the PD check. Uh, they, it does come with these special glasses where you can take your picture and it shows exactly where your, your, your pupillary distance is. Um, and I had my wife check it with the ruler and it was 58 and then I did it with the app and their special glasses and it was 58.5. That's a half a millimeter difference, which is incredibly precise. And so uh, I, I would recommend that you just have someone else do your, you get your PD. Now, I wouldn't discount these goggles completely. It is, again, interesting to know the number. Uh, in my case, I was surprised that I was 20, 25 and my right eye was actually 2020, which is which is weird because it's still a little fuzzy. So I'm not entirely sure if uh, that's 100% accurate. Uh, the color test was accurate, uh, which is pretty cool that you can actually go through and uh, it, it it actually sees if you're colorblind or not. And then the contrast is super super easy to go through. You don't necessarily need to know that information. Uh, now, does this work for kids? Uh, Yes, I did do it on, on my five-year-old Penny, uh, and they're just E's, and you just say, which direction does the E go? You don't actually have to spell anything, and even though she does know her alphabet, but it's very, very simple. So this does actually work with cross-cultural uh, situations. So if someone doesn't know uh, the, the English alphabet, for example, or is non-literate, like in the middle of Africa, where I, I have been, volunteering with ministries that help people with low eyesight. Uh, this is really a, a groundbreaking thing that is absolutely tremendous. So I'm gonna be recommending this the little device IQ to uh, some of my buddies who work down in South America, Central America, over in Africa, because uh, they, need, they need something like this. And even if you get within a half a point of your eyesight, that's a lot better than what some people are experiencing right now. So blown away that this little device is, it's going to revolutionize the eye industry. And unfortunately, it will probably put a lot of optometrists out of business, but you know, that's the open market and that's the beauty. So that's it. My humble consumer opinion is that yes, it does work. Again, I'm not an optometrist. If you truly want to go like I did and see side by side how close this is, uh, this was very, very darn close um, to my actual prescription that I got at Costco. And with that, it's five out of five stars. I'm absolutely blown away. So I hope that this is helpful in determining whether or not the IQ vision check as well as PD check and as well as this whole insight monstrosity is right for you. My name is Bo Chevisu. Catch you later.